Next up, I'm gonna call to the stage this guy is eager. He performs everywhere, every borough. He came back, he performed with us probably about seven times, and he's here to do his thing. He has a lot of energy. Show your love for Abraham the poet. Poet, put your hands together for the poet. to the page, to the whole world, I'd show it. Uh -huh. I'd cook her some food for thought and put you on an ignorant diet. I'd instigate intellectual riots. I'd speak for those who otherwise unspoken for, who opportunity doesn't knock on when they knock the door doesn't open for. If I was a poet, I'd write a love poem to touch your heart. Uh -huh. Then when you let down your guard, I'd spit a political poem that'll rip it apart. I'd say my words on the corner like dealers put your crack rocks and crack spots. But you know it ain't a race thing, because we also get killed by black cops. Right. Fuck the hacks. Ain't no such thing as a have not. Just to have not now, cause if you put your mind to it, you can do it. If I was a poet, I'd show you how. If I was a poet, I'd be a spoken word superhero. And each day I could them a cliche till they no longer existed. I let my words brush up against your ears till they spark your ideas from the friction. If I was a poet, I'd make you listen. And understand that my words, when you read them, you do more than see them. They're so intense that even the deaf can hear them. And it'd be like music to your ears. My words would be so fierce, they conquer your fears. If I was a poet, shit. I make most poets want to retire. I'd inspire. I'd inspire with your heart to free your mind. If I was a poet, I'd try to save the world with every line. But I am a poet, so all in due time. <laughs> oh my God. And stuff. Um, I'm gonna do a new piece right now. So if I mess it up, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me, I'll make it up with the last piece I got. Um, I wrote this piece because I, I was thinking about the American dream, you know, and um, what it meant to me, what it meant to everybody else. But then I realized that minorities often don't get to see that American dream, you know? It's like, it's like we're insomniacs, you know, and we can never get to sleep to experience that dream. So I wrote this piece called An Insomniac's American Dream. What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? We're overworked and underpaid. Little girls are overdeveloped and underage, and it's as common as the cold how they're catching AIDS. What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? What's an insomniac's American dream? Money is the root of all evil, but money is the American thing. It's a drug, and we're just American fiends. In need of a moral detox, we need to get America clean. What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? The Constitution is an illusion, filled with lies and confusion. The law is like reverse prostitution, because you only get fucked if you don't have money. But we've been hungry for so long, we forgot how to sleep. And the only time, we forgot how to eat. And the only time we sleep is when we're six feet under. I wonder if we just living in vain. And when we all rob pee, we just rest in the pain. So I'm, wide, so I'm wide awake and fear the nightmares. It's right there, quite clear as day. A lot of y'all living in the dark, and y'all planning to stay. I try to bring you to the light and you fight it. By no surprise, it hurts your eyes because you've been living in the dark your whole lives. Mm. How long will we continue to follow down a dead end path? It's not adding up. We know if we bother to do the math. Silver spooners keep feeding us lies. And we're eating it up with rusted forks and knives. That's right. And sometimes things are exactly what it seems. So what the fuck is the American dream if we can't right. get to sleep? Mm. They push us to the side and forget us. We try to rise up and they won't let us. So we gotta take it by force. Then we got nothing to lose. Then 500 years and no, we already lost. That's right. So no disrespect to Dr. King, but I'm more of a Malcolm X by any means. That's we can't have our own? Wake the fuck up, we taking your American dream. That's right. They say I'm controversial, a radical, a little crazy maybe, but I won't rest until we all sleeping like babies. <laughs> in February. I'm not asking no set price, just donations, whatever you got, whatever you want to give, it's whatever, you know? I'm right here. Right. I'm ready about right here. <laughs> no, this last piece, this last piece I wrote, um, you know what I'm saying, a lot of stuff I write about, was a lot of like humble stuff, talk about a lot of um, like people about social issues and whatnot, but I wrote this because I got a little cocky side to me, you know, and in my, in my character, I hear that, you know what I'm saying, in my personality, so I wrote this piece to um, reflect that. And I also wrote it to let, let, other, let rappers know, no respect to rappers, my boy Noodles a rapper, but poets are lyrical too. So yeah, yeah. this one's called Poetic Assault. They originate from there. <laughs> 
Alright? This one's called poetic assault. Pay attention to this one. I'm forever protected as long as words are my weapons. I'm effortless with my cleverness. I got an arsenal if you ever disrespected us. I'm a wordsmith. Connected concepts like letters when they encourse it. My lines are intertwined with rhymes so far ahead of your time that your soul has trouble keeping up with my mind. So you gotta be kidding me, trying to get rid of me with my metaphors and similes. Confine your existence to an epitome. I take your pain that is permanently tattooed and mold it to a poetic statue. Isn't that true? Your stimulation has a poetic statue of limitations. Well, I'm too clever to not last forever. My words are addictive, more potent than dope. It lingers in the air, call it secondhand hope. My competition is missing. Better yet, non-existent. Listen, I'm the very definition of truth. The constant repetition of my vision is proof. I got poetic genetics, my lyrical kinetics that fought for this poetic assault. I was born ready on the first day, dropping jewels like a fetty with the wordplay. I write so my feelings don't build up like mildew. Sticks and stones to break your bones, but these words are damn near kill you. At the same time, they'll heal you, rebuild you. Now you strong and ever. I last longer than forever. I'm greater than better. I mean, better than great. I'm the greatest you guess. I'm the best of the best. No need to protest. I'm better than the rest. I confess. Lines deep in the space and time. But to be honest, I just say what's on my mind. It just happens to rhyme. Yeah.